Great Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. Let's talk starting pitchers, and let's start with the number of 348. That happens to be the ERA the last 14 times that Jimmy Nelson of the Brewers has taken the hill. Now, he got the loss on opening day, gave up two runs against the Giants in seven and a third innings, obviously didn't deserve that. But over his last 14 starts, he does have that sub 3.5 ERA. We're talking about a ground ball rate of over 51% in that time. 7.4 strikeouts per nine innings. The only negative with Nelson over that span of effective pitching for the Brewers is the walk rate, 3.3 per nine innings. Now, I say this about a lot of pitchers, but if he can knock that walk rate down, maybe get a half a batter off of that mark, get it down to the league average in that walk category, we could really see him take off in 2016. Don't sleep on the big right-hander. The second number is 327, which happens to be the career ERA of Michael Waka. Now, Waka also owns a 1.20 whip for his career, 7.9 strikeouts per nine innings for his career, 3 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio for his career. All those numbers are really good. Really, really good. But there are questions about can he throw 200 innings? And there's questions about how he looked in his first start this season. Four and a third innings, five runs, four of them earned, ball was flying everywhere, did not look good. Some health concerns are about the only thing that you can really look at with Walker and say that's going to hold him back in 2016. A solid SP3 in a mixed league. He should be an SP2 by the time it's all said and done. Don't sleep on Michael Walker because of a poor first start. And then the final number is 8.53, which happens to be the career strikeout rate per nine innings of Jay Goderizzi, who in his first outing this season struck out 10 batters for the Blue Jays. Now, Odorizzi is a very solid arm. He brings those strikeouts that I mentioned, a 1-2-2 career whip, um, you know, very, very good, a 3.3 ERA, actually, over his last 29 starts. The issue with him can be the big fly. He's an extreme fly ball pitcher that leaves him open to home runs at times, and he can walk too many players uh, from time to time. But the fact is, overall, a very good game, lots of strikeouts, the ability to be a very significant performer in 2016. That's what I say when I hear the name Jake Odorizzi.